Hello and welcome to the second episode of the Flavorful Summer of Steam 2021. Today we'll be going over some soldering tips and tricks using a calculator kit that we found on Amazon. It's linked in the description below. Here are the materials that you will need. You will need a soldering iron. Warning! Make sure you have adult supervision while doing this activity. You also need solder, wire cutters, a calculator soldering kit, and some safety goggles. Here are the pieces our kit came with. It came with a case, buttons, screen, integrated circuit, battery, capacitors, stickers and covers, circuit board, battery case, button covers, and resistors. Your kit might have different components, but we linked the kit we use in the description below. We'll explain how buttons, capacitors, and resistors work later. Now let's get started. Me and Ethan are going to help you with this activity. Start by putting on some safety goggles. Grab a component and place its pins into the circuit board. Follow in the instructions of your kit. You solder the soldering iron to attach the component. Here I am, watch as I do this now. I like to blow after I do the components to get the smoke away. The shape that you want to get is a pyramid, not a ball. We'll explain this later. You can use heat to fix any mistakes you make. Clip off excess wire with wire cutters. This is our circuit with the screen attached. Here you can see my soldering job. Repeat this for all the components. I had Ethan's help for this. Now that everything has been attached, Add buttons and stickers to the calculator. Follow the instructions to see what to put on each button. This is the layout of ours. Finally build the case following the kit instructions. And ta-da, we have a working calculator. Watch as I do some math. Or you can randomly press buttons like I did. <laughs> now Ethan will show you some soldering tips and tricks. He will also tell you how some of the components work. Now I'm going to be showing you some soldering tips as well as discussing how some of the components work. My first tip is to put the soldering iron and your solder on opposite sides of the pin. As you can see here, if we're coming in from the right, then we put the solder on the left. And this helps solder the component into the board a lot easier. My second tip is to bend the solder for easier control. Creating a little hook shape is always good, so you can put the solder where you actually want it to go. My third tip is when you're soldering, you want to make pyramids, not balls. Balls take more solder and make the components a lot more unstable than pyramids do. Now let's talk about what some of the components do. First we have the capacitor, which looks like this. It acts as a mini battery because it stores charge for when it is needed. Next we have the resistor, which looks like this and limits current. You can think of it like a funnel, which stops rushing water and instead slows it down to the correct speed. Finally, we have the button, which looks like this. When the button is pressed, it completes the circuit and allows for electricity to flow through. You can see that when it's not completed, electricity doesn't flow, but when it's completed, electricity can go through. This allows you to control what happens when you press each button on your calculator. Thanks for watching! Make sure to subscribe, like, and share. And stay tuned for the next Flavorful Summer of Steam 2021 video. The Flavorful Summer of Steam is a partnership between Flavorful Science and Sci-Files and was made possible thanks to funding and support by Rising Youth Canada.